evening. Okay, so BB is um, a homegrown concept based in the DIFC. It revolves around something we call Eastern cuisine, which is a marriage between Asian dishes with a Middle Eastern influence. So BB is actually a name or a title that you give to a respected member of the community. It's usually a female and traditionally spelled B-I-B-I, we abbreviate it to B-B. We are um, friends, pioneers, and rebels of the food industry. Uh, we've been in the industry for a while, and we chose this cuisine especially for its pioneering um, qualities of the region. So in this region is where they first invented fermentation. They were the first people to cultivate wheat. Super smart, they brought all the spices from the Orient, and they brought the staples from the West. Part of what a BB's culture actually is, is about including the whole community. So everybody should partake around a table. And we do that through what we call thoughtful food. But as with everything, thoughtful food also begins with thoughtful service. So if you've ever been to a restaurant and sit down, and one of the first questions they'll ask you is, are you drinking any wine? And if you say no, they will very graciously remove the wine glass from the table. Now, in any kind of hospitality in this culture, that's very negative, and we pay for the service, right? So what we try to do is we put our champagne coupes on the table to sort of integrate everybody and start your experience with bubbles. So what if you don't drink champagne? Well, actually, this is sparkling elderflower. So freshly pressed elderflower infused with soda. Nobody would know the difference. And that's really the quality of integration and inclusiveness that we talk through. So for a lot of the things that we, that we do, they're not always what they seem. For example, this is hummus, um, which is a tribute to the region, a very popular dish. We make ours super green. And um, that's because we infuse it with avocado, with spinach, with mint, with edamame. And this is all down to the craftsman spirit of the pioneers and rebels that we have working with us. Bao is a labor of love. It's a very central part to our menu. And it was actually invented over 2,000 years ago by a very famous strategist in China called Zhu Zhlang. And it was in the Three Kingdom Romance, which is very pivotal to worldwide history, And what he was asked to do was to surrender his army, which he agreed to do, but after nightfall. So during the day, they made bow, and at sunset, they floated the bow across the river. The opposing army looked and saw what they thought were the severed heads of the army. They, they came out, they were captured and defeated. And this led to the restoration of the Han Dynasty. So our labor of love, we make fresh every night, over 250 of them, and we repurpose them into brioche, into bao chips, into pretzel, into a bao nut. Um, and that's really down to um, our belief that you know, food needs to be thoughtful of what it does and what it's there for. I have many people familiar with fricka. So there is no fricka plant but it's very famous and very well known in this region. It actually means to rub. And in 2300 BC in East, you know, ancient Egypt, they were, it was impending famine and they harvested all the green wheat crops. Unfortunately, when they stored them, the city caught fire and they rubbed the grain and they found that not only was it edible, it was actually delicious. So in search of that, we found other ingredients like Iberico lamb, which is the Kobe of lamb. Right? It comes from Spain. It's uh, for a thousand years. These lambs have been grazing in that area. Um, and it's really clean and very, um, very pure food. Part of what we do, like I said before, was making sure that everybody can partake in a meal from beginning to end. Desserts are always tricky. So what looks like delicious chocolates are actually vegan and sugar-free, meaning everybody, everybody gets a chance to participate. So a real... Um, a real bite of history here is, I'm not sure if you're familiar with pink tea. It actually comes, it's actually made with green tea leaves, and it's also known as Saba's chai or noon chai. Noon actually means salt, so it's actually salty. And in the old days of Rajasthan, if you wanted to make a promise, you'd come and have tea and dip your hand in salt. So be careful next time you have a tea with somebody, yeah? Don't be setting up any false promises. Part of our commitment is working with our local partners and locally sourced product. So we partner with different farms and communities where we can source fresh, sustainable product. In this region, we are very guilty of having to import a lot of ingredients. And that means we are in danger of over-farming 
products. For example, truffles used to be something you would use in emergencies only, right, in special seasons. But today you can find it across every menu all throughout the year. Um, and this is kind of the responsibility that a BB would take of her community. Now, BB as a space is quite unique. If you've ever been to the venue, it's across three floors. It's a very tiny footprint, um, but the inside of the building doesn't match the outside floors. So as a result, we've had to build lots of little staircases and little steps to match the inside with the outside. We actually have a spiral staircase that transcends the entire building from top to bottom, and it's 55 steps in total. So when you go, you get a great workout. So as we say, every day is a leg day. <laughs> Um, but we thought, well, why are we the only ones doing all the exercise? So we've built a new initiative that we're just launching called 10,000 Steps. So if any of you do 10,000 Steps on your Fitbit or your Apple device, you just send that over to us, and we will send you back a voucher where you can redeem a complimentary Super Bowl. So that's mini fur, mini ramen, or any of our grill bowls. And that's an initiative, as a BB does, to bring together the community and really promoting the, the health aspect of what it is that we put into our bodies and what we provide out there. Now, cooking is uh, becoming a lost art with the infiltration of lots of delivery models and accessible food. So we have launched BB's Table, which is um, bringing all your grandma's recipes. So BB is also a name for a grandmother. My grandmother was a BB. Um, and we preserve those recipes and given them a place on the modern table. As part of what a true BB does is takes care of her community. And we do that through thoughtful stories, through thoughtful food, through thoughtful service. And we hope to keep promoting thought one dish at a time. Thank you.